Hello, my name is Natasha and this is my battle with endometriosis. One out of 10 people assigned female at birth and 176 million people in the world have endometriosis. At the age of 13, I had my period. The heavy bleeding, the pain and the headaches I thought was normal. Even though I was missing school, sports and social events. In my teens, I was put on the birth control pill for my symptoms. And at first this did help. In my twenties, I had to stop taking the pill because my daily headaches became weekly migraines. In 2008, I was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome. So I changed my diet. In 2016, I started to experience severe heartburn, unexplained weight loss, painful bowel movements. In 2017, I had an endoscopy and a colonoscopy. They confirmed that I had microscopic colitis and GERD, so I was put on steroids and acid prohibitors. I still felt horrible with a lot of unexplained abdominal pain. So I asked to see a GI doctor and a gynecologist as I noticed more changes in my body. I was floating back and forth between appointments with no explanation to my abdominal pain. So I was becoming really anxious when finally the GI doctor said to me, I think you have adhesions on your bowel, which would be endometriosis. Two months later in 2018, I had my laparoscopic surgery. It was life changing. I woke up and my gyno was right there. She said to me, you have endometriosis. And you had a lot of it. We removed it from your bladder, reproductive organs, and bowel. I just smiled. I finally had a name to my abdominal pain that I had to fight so hard to get. In 2020, I'm now working with an endometriosis specialist and other healthcare providers. You yourself may have one or more health condition and have a team working with you. You're going to have good days and you're going to have bad but you need to keep moving forward in the right direction. Know that there is support from the Endometriosis Network Canada. There needs to be more research, early diagnosis, and treatments for endometriosis. It is much more than a disease of the reproductive system. It affects multiple systems throughout your body. We shouldn't have to live with this pain. We need to find a cure. If you're suffering from endometriosis, my message to you is stay strong, keep fighting, be your own advocate because we are in this together and a warrior.